Yeah, yeah. first uh, talk about the things. And, uh, right there, we, we have been kind of isolated for the rest of the world. And all of a sudden, Fidel speaks about the case and the letters start coming in. And uh, one of the first letters, I believe the second, maybe, maybe the first, it was Geoffrey Bottoms. From there on, uh, we discovered the people that we told was far away from here. And we realized that the English people was really very close to us. So after that letter, we started to receive thousands of people. Tens of letters from England. And uh, we got the opportunity to know personally some of the people who have been involved in that and uh, we realize that sometimes you have some stereotypes about the country, because they live in a cold country, far away, and, and all of a sudden you discover how many things in common we have. And that's what I feel when I meet, when I talk, when I relate to these people. To all the even people who have been close to the fight and who have been supporting us since the beginning. I believe that someday we might be able to say to the world what really the English people did for us. I don't even know now whether we can say it or not. But they did a lot. And they did so much that at the end, in the White House, their knock was felt. They moved people away from England. Made him join the case of the fire. And that's why he had to say in the rest of the film that we owe a good part, a big part of this victory to the English people. And uh, we can say that now we know more, more about the world than we did before, thanks to the English people who supported us. So here, here you have my family, you love you all, you are the people of your service, and uh, we know the world has a lot of things to do to get better. And we know that we're going to be together on that fight to do that. So thank you very much to all. back here in Cuba. For us it was an emotional time for the people who had been involved in the campaign. It was a wonderful, wonderful moment and you can imagine what that was like for the families, for their partners and for the people of Cuba. And when you see the films of the five returning to Cuba and meeting the different people, the one word that everybody said to the five was thank you. Gracias. Because the five gave their time, their lives to defend the Cuban people terrorist attacks against this country and so it's a sacrifice that they made and I always remember Gerardo saying we only did what most Cubans would do which was to give their lives uh, their time to defend their people. For the people of Britain it was a longer struggle because of course as we now know uh, René but not just René because what applied to René applied to all the five was banned from visiting Britain our government was unique in the world in banning the five from coming. It was the only country they traveled to France and Germany, Latin America, South Africa, but Britain they were not allowed to. And uh, this week, or last week, we won a historic victory, and I think it is a, an historic victory, against uh, our Home Secretary, Theresa May, when we won against all the odds, because nobody thought we would win that case. The barristers didn't think we'd win, I didn't think we'd win, none of us thought we'd win. We were up against the state and the Home Secretary and the existing law. And to overturn that visa decision was an historic victory. And so for me personally and for everybody in the campaign, it really is a, a joyous, joyous moment. And it will be such a wonderful uh, moment when finally all of you come to Britain to share with the people of Britain who have worked so hard for your 
victory for your release. And we very much look forward to that day when uh, together with the union, with the parliamentarians, with the students, the men, the women of Britain who worked so hard for your release that you can share, we can finally celebrate together as a uh, brother, as a sister yeah. in Britain and to celebrate that final victory. We look forward to that immensely and that will happen soon, I, mean, I can assure you. So, Viva Los Cinco! Viva Cuba! Viva la ciclistas! Viva todos los ciclistas!